So they're gonna they're gonna run the pistol around right now. Hideout West. This is probably one of the most favored um, maps in this game. Uh, in competitive right now, it's it's pretty balanced. Um, depends on who you talk to. I've scrimmed it a little bit, and I feel like security has a lot more options to get to B. Insurgents have to play differently um, than security do. Security, it's kind of, I always get stuck right there. Always, always. It's, insurgents have to play a little bit smarter when going to B. Now, this is the pistol round, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is just going to be for deciding who's going to play on what side. So we're going to see some hardcore rushing right here. There's actually a player all the way over at the end of the map. I don't know what he's doing. Just pistol around. Just push. There we go. Trial. Peacock looking for a kill. I think it's actually Peacock. I'll call him Peacock. Can't actually select any players. <laughs> Don't go for it. Going down. We're going to actually fly around the map right now because I can see more of what's going on. These two players fighting on to B. While reloading, pushing into mid B, going to get that kill onto Cucked by a Dolphin. Now I believe, can't actually see how many players are alive right now, but I think it's a 2v2 or close to it. B is actually going to get capped, so it's going to be a 5v2. Look at these players running after each other. Cover crop, snack eater, going to get a kill. Let's snap back into first person. It looks actually like a 3v2v5. V oh my goodness. Dr. Weenie up on top of blue. He's got that laser sight. Looking for a kills. There's going to be one by East. Oh, headshots his own teammate. That was a nasty shot. All right, now it's going to be a 3v2. Let's see what Tentacle Porn can do. Tentacle Corn getting chased down by this player. Cover Crop looking for him, not finding him. Oh, Tentacle Porn running in, getting taken down, and that's going to be the pistol round. Goes for security at the end there. Unfortunately, getting taken down, not seeing him on the left side. So, <laughs> so they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna reload the map here and then choose what side they want to select. So now we'll see. This will be the actual um, match here. So we'll see what they select. Valhalla. It was all over Reddit, and all in the Discord. So, make sure you read your discords, brother. You were also on vacation. That's probably why you missed it, unfortunately. It happened this morning earlier for us, Valhalla, so you probably slept in. So, don't feel bad. And it looks like... Yeah, I believe um, security opted to start security, which is probably the favored side right now. A lot of people like to start on security. This is the last um, match, by the way for this pug tournament um, before we move over into finals. So there will be one more match after this and it will be the finals. So, so. yeah. So yeah, no one's queuing for comp right now. Um, Paranoxic because the comp queue is broken. Um, the comp queue does not recognize when someone leaves the queue. It doesn't. It takes about 10 minutes for it to recognize someone's left, and then what happens is you get in these games with only nine out of 10 players, and then it doesn't start. And this happens kind of over and over and over again, um, and it's kind of frustrating. Um, and also now we can't see the player count, so it's kind of like, well, I don't know if I should queue or not because I don't want to queue with zero players. But NWI knows this; they're working on it. So hopefully by launch, it's it's fixed up and whatnot. So. We're going to pay attention here to see what kind of pre-nades come out. This, these maps, because they're open, are heavily relied on pre-nades. I really do want to see a reduction to the, um, the pre-nade distance right now. So, Winners for the tournament win fame and glory right now. We're still in beta, Valhalla. So we're just, just getting things underway until something's going to work out and fix. There comes a pre-nade, early pre-nade. Looks like no kills are coming out here yet for any team. Hop back into first player mode. BDB East is going to be on that B objective. He is stalemated. He's got to be careful. Oh, there's two players on B. East has got to call it now. Does he have help from any of his teammates? This player around rubble. Dr. Weenie trying to f support his teammate. He's doing a good job here. He's just got to be careful. Rubble is this weird position. you got to be careful. Oh! Weenie taking down... Hacker man, that's gonna be three kills. So now it's a uh, 
4v2, actually. They killed the B player. B is now being capped. It's actually a 4v1, excuse me. And Cheeky is by himself. Cheeky running into that A objective. He's going to try to get a cap here. And you're going to see this rotation coming out by Dr. Weenie. Dr. Weenie needs to get on the A objective and block. This is going to be a beautiful play. He's just going to kind of hurry up here and step in. If he takes too long, Cheeky's going to get a cap for free. you got to step on the objective, guys. There we go. So there are two of them on A right now, so they might be confused. They might think it's clear. Per Cheeky's going to run around and get the kill. Cheeky trying to go clutch. He kills two. He needs to be careful of the spawn. Does he know that they spawn? He hears him. Oh, there he goes, jumping up in that refrigerator spot. Meanwhile, security is capping C. C is at 50% right now. Cheeky trying to go clutch for his team. This player is going to walk right into Cheeky. Cheeky's going to get that kill and the cap. So that's going to be huge for his teammate. But then security is going to cap C. So we have 30 seconds remaining right now. Cheeky is probably very low on ammo right now. Um, so he's going to look for kills. Oh, look at this spot. He's going to get one. He's going to get two. Will he get another? He's got to be really low on ammo right now. Um, with the hero cap by Cheeky. Cheeky doing so well. Now on C. Look at Cheeky. Oh, he got, he's got to be careful not to waste ammo here. He's got to know he's low on ammo. There are two people around security. So look at Insurgents, though. Insurgents are capping both C and B. So Cheeky's doing a great job by just tying up the time here. When he looks in, though, he... Oh! He gets, finally gets taken out, unfortunately. But we're in overtime. This is GG. Boom. Yeah, that's GG. They were in overtime. Let's take a look at Cheeky there. Getting that crazy spawn camp. Coming down here, going prone. Cheeky played so well that round. He actually got six kills. Two kills off that spawn camp. That was huge. Great job, Cheeky. Cheeky across all the board, getting all the accolades. Last man standing. So Cheeky doing really well. <laughs> yeah, so... So yeah, first, best of 10, first to six. Five to five is a tie. So great round by Cheeky there. East played well on B. There were a lot of objectives going out there that round. Cheeky getting six kills, coming up huge for his team. Four objectives for Insurgent, five for security. Huge round. East now hopping onto the B objective. Look at these three players. Three insurgent players, excuse me. Trying to switch through people and find them. Kind of difficult. There we go. Cooked by a dolphin, playing on rubble. He gets shot by his own teammate. He's got to be careful right here. He's going to walk right in front of this what player and actually gets the kill. Cheeky kills Chronic, and B gets capped. They did not block. No one playing that B objective, and now security are crumpling on top of the insurgent team, Kunk by a Dolphin, up in blue. He's got to be careful. Gets one kill down below, looking for that spawn camp. Kunk by a Dolphin playing in that bottom blue position. B is being capped, not blocked. Oh, Kunk seeing another player getting a kill. That's huge. He's gotten three kills this round. He's need to be careful of this A player. Did he see him? Yeah, he did. He doesn't know if he's top or bottom, though. You could tell as he aimed at the top of A. B now at 75%. Does he see this player? He does. Shoots at him. And now B being decapped. It's actually now a 2v2, 2v1 position. Excuse me. It was actually blocked. Cucked stepping in. Needs to be silent. This is a common position right here, actually. Um, excuse me. On to B. As I, as I go away. They're fighting. On to B. He's chasing him around and goes and gets the kill at the very end there. Sorry. Spectator mode pushing me away. So, yeah, just running away there at the very end. Cucked by a dolphin. Looked like he ran out of ammo. Yeah. So, one to one. There's the scoreboard. Cover crop. 
six kills that round, going huge for his team. I almost am afraid to watch Snack Eater, aka Cover Crop, because this is just the the shoutcaster curse, right? When you sh when you spectate someone after they do good, if you if you spectate them, then they usually do bad. So yeah, so we'll see this here. He's playing over by a river in the pipe. So it looks like he's probably not going to see a lot of action. He's got that laser sight on, which actually kind of gives him away. I'm going to go with a kill. Not going to find one. I'm going to switch around players here. Let's see if I can look at this from third person. Oh, get me out of here, please. All right. Now we're going to look above. Look at You can see these players on rubble. Are they making an A push? Is that, is that what's going on here? I'm not quite sure. You can see these players on the other sides of the wall. Look at this third person camera. All right, who's it going to be? Is it going to be Insurgents? Oh, he runs him out, crouches, gets the kill. Tino Porn getting the kill. Look at Insurgents now floating all over B, or A, excuse me. Trying to wallbang this player. This player just needs to be careful. Actually, a lot of Insurgent players do camp in that spot. Tino Porn getting a kill. Then we're going to see this push out in. Oh, and a nade coming out. That's a huge nade. Jumps in, and now they've traded spots. Insurgents now on security side, and security on Insurgents side. Going for the kill. East is going to get it, but East gets taken down. Beautiful play by East there at the end. Just not enough, unfortunately. East pushing in. You actually saw security Insurgents trade side. East got the kill, pushed in, got the kill, and then gets taken down by that rubble player. So great play by East. Just... Not enough. Good cover um, by Tentacle Porn there. So, dang, Bahala, where you been, man? <laughs> you gotta be aware, man. Wake up. So, let's see what we can have here. Yeah, see, I spectated Snack Eater and then he died. See, it's it's just Shoutcaster curse. It really is. I feel bad. See, that's that's basically my fault because I was watching him, unfortunately. So two to one in favor of Insurgents. Five round halves. Oh, look at this push. Oh, okay, he's pushing into B. East got a frag grenade. East doing so well playing that B objective. Doing such a good job there. Spectate into third person now. A round rubble. He's looking up on this rebel position, and Blue actually taking him down. Blue is now actually called Shrine. He's not calling it Blue because it's not actually Blue. Oh, and Ackerman running around actually gets killed by Chronic. B is going to be capped for security. So now it's a 5v2 situation. Cheeky staying alive but looking for a kill. Now it's a 5v1. Cheeky all by his lonesome. Oh, he sees a player all the way across. There you go. Gets a kill on one. He's on top of that A objective. Is he going to get wall banged? Oh, my goodness. See the bullets coming raining down on Cheeky. Cheeky's got to be careful. One minute remaining. So what you're going to see here is on the, down at the bottom of the map right now, you see the security player going to C. This is exactly what needs to happen. This is the right play to make. Cheeky is going to be forced here. Even if he gets this kill, it's not going to matter because they are going to get a free cap on C, and they have 50 seconds remaining. If they can run and block this A, this is going to be huge. Now, is East going to get in? East just needs to get in and block. Step in, step in. There we go. He's clearing now. Cheeky is running behind him. Cheeky's running behind, looking for him, and he's got 30 seconds remaining. Now he's decapping. Cheeky just basically cannot do anything now. He is forced into this position. He might be able to get a double kill. He gets one. He gets two. That's a beautiful play by Cheeky. However, it's going to be too little, too late. 20 seconds remaining. They actually don't even need to push this objective at all. Um, they will win as long as they don't die. So you have to be smart here and watch the time. If they push in and die, it's going to be rough. He kills one. He's got to look behind him now. And he's going to get taken down. Cheeky, last alive. You know, just too, it's too little, too late, unfortunately. Right? So there is the, the spray down by Cheeky. Cheeky actually, this is a good play by Cheeky. He knows that two get on. So he actually moves off the objective, moves around, looks for the kill, and he actually gets the double kill and then steps on the objective. Um, unfortunately, it's just, you know, kind of too little, too late. Um, 
Cheeky's just kind of skirting around the outside of the map. And um, by that time, his whole team is dead. And then there's not really much you can do because security had a free cap on the sea. So all the work that Cheeky did was negated. Um, so there's a scoreboard for you, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't really been saying this, but I'll shout these guys out. On security, Snack Eater East, Dirty KD, Dr. Weenie, and Chronic. On Insurgents, you got Cheeky, Cucked by a Dolphin, Ackerman, Tr Trial Peacock, and Tentacle Porn, which is Greg Undier. Chronic going for that nade. What haven't we watched here? We've watched Dolphin. Let's watch Peacock. Peacock's got that sniper rifle. It looks like with the ACOG 4X. Trying to find something. He's, yeah, he shoots out that glass. That's exactly what I do as well. That's that's a pretty good strategy. Snack Eater getting a kill. In the scope, it actually appears you cannot see. Let's see if he sees this player. Going for the kill. Oh, a little bit of the scope there right there. Looking for this kill, but not finding it. Let's see if he can get it. There we go. There's the kill. And you can actually see those players are now um, black with an outline. So good kill by Peacock. Um, unfortunately, though, I think in the meantime, he is actually the last person, um, now alive. So, he's looking for this kill. Oh, blows Chronic's head off. That was a beautiful shot. Jumps out the window just in time to save his life. They both converge on him and they say, hey, where did he go? What? Wasn't he just here? He jumped out the window and now they're like, what is going on here? He's only got a sniper rifle, um... Now there, there we go. He picks up an AK. He's got to be careful. It's like Blackhawk down right now. Just a sniper. Oh, no. He gets taken down. <laughs> oh, East takes down Peacock. I believe it's Peacock. Or Peacock. We'll see. Or Peacock. I'm not very sure. So. Um, yeah. All my settings are actually on low. Yes, that is correct. Teams have swapped. There is the score at halftime. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Fissus? What's up, Wasted Account? Yeah, this is, um, everything's basically a work in progress. Everything's a beta. Saying Storm, you know, all that stuff. So, if I am missing some of the action, um, it's not my fault. Okay. Um, <laughs> Some uh the the spectator controls um are not really refined yet. I can't I can't click on on players on the map. I can't even see them on the map when I'm in free look actually. Um, so that kind of makes it difficult to kind of move around and find action. But you know, I'm I apologize for missing some of the action. That's kind of why I'm holding the map down and clicking around a lot because when I when I in the map I can see when I'm white, and um so I just kind of click around until I find it, my the cursor lights up and it's white. It's kind of the the easiest way for me to do it. So try not to hold the map down too long. But three to two. This is the first round of the half. There we go. BDB East is going to play in that B objective. I have highlighted him. Now he's blocking that B objective. As you can see up top, he's trying to stay alive. He's actually going to get taken down. Dirty KD is on the objective, trying to stay alive. But he's got to be careful because there actually is a guy out in the market on the right side. So that market guy has actually moved up into Riverhouse, moving through lockers. Oh, he picks the wrong time to reload. Terrible time to reload. He gets taken down. Meanwhile, Snack Eater and Chronic doing work on the other side of the map. Trying to get kills here. Snack Eater pushes in, and now it is just Chronic. Chronic, all by himself, be at 75%. They know where he is. This is going to be very difficult. He goes for the pre-fire, and he's not going to get it. Runs out of ammo. And, oh, he just sees him. And, yeah, he gets taken out. Now 3-3. That's going to tie it up. 3-3. Three, three. Anyone's game here, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, a lot of teams prefer security side. So it's probably a good thing. I mean, a 2-3, if you win two rounds on Insurgent, that's a pretty good half. Mm-mm-mm. <coughs> Yeah, I think that I think it'll be even be sooner from that. Um, Physis, Physis, Physis or Physis, eleven. I think that you know by launch it'll be good, but definitely I think in Q1 of 2019, I think this game is is going to be great. Um, 
NWI really continuously works on their game. And I know that's kind of, you know, for new people to NWI, it's, it's very tough. Um, cause you kind of, you don't have any trust with them, but you know, a lot of us have trust with NWI. They're going to keep working on it. So it's, it's going to be good. So you see some prenades coming out. No one's prenating that blue position. Let me find Cuck by Dolphin. Cuck by Dolphin playing with that G3. Um, a lot of players liking the G3 play, being very accurate. Cuck by Dolphin watching this um, entrance to B. Now, B is already at 50%. So this is a great round by security. Security now 3v3. Cuck by Dolphin is completely uncontested. He's going to get a free cap, and it's going to be a 5v3. This is why playing objectives is so important. Um, everyone's just playing slow. I think Chronic actually hurt his own teammate. Yeah. Oh, he hurt actually Cheeky. Excuse me. There we go. Gets the kill. It's very confusing. My friends show up as yellow, even if they're on different teams. Chronic's got to be careful. He's got to be careful of this guy in mid. He's got to look down. There we go. He's by a dolphin. Does he know where he's at? Oh, he just saw Oh, Chronic goes down, and now it's a 4v1. Snack Eater trying to stay alive, playing on the outside. Looking for the kill, but not finding it. So, yeah, getting taken down. Yo, another thing that's confusing about the uh, the map is um, my friends actually appear um, as the same color. So if they're on the opposite teams, they're both green to me. So I actually thought those two players were on the same team when they actually were not. So, But yeah, Firefight is an awesome game mode. Um, just a lot of game sense. I know it's frustrating for new players. Come out and stop by um, and, and play 5v5 with us, you know, at the DGL. Join the Discord, hop in. We're going to be playing probably all night after this. So I'm going to, I'm probably going to order a pizza or something and just play all night long. So thanks again to our sponsors, Vilaire.com. Keep promo code the DGL for 15% off. Vilaire.com providing us with all of our server needs for Sandstorm. They've been working with us to get stuff up and running. So no prenades coming out. I mean, there are prenades coming out, but no prenade kills. Actually, very few prenade kills coming out. Cooked by a Dolphin is already deep in the objective. Look at him. On this objective, he gets one kill. Does he get another? Oh, he gets taken down. East with the shotty. Oh, he gets another kill with the shotgun. East getting two kills with that shotgun. Now reloading the shotgun. Is it OP? Don't tell Kalu. He loves that shotgun. Look at these two players right next to each other. On the wall. Look at this. He's going to move. Going for that kill. Not going to find it. They're going to try to stop this C objective. And I look away as East gets another kill. That is three kills with that shotgun. Oh my goodness. And the cap. And now we're going to look over to the C objective. Dr. Weenie making his way to C. He's got to be careful. This enemy t player is looking right on him. That's actually Cheeky. Cheeky playing C. Are we going to see any nades him out? Yeah, he hears him. He's going to look for him. Runs right by. Gets one kill. Now Cheeky's got to be careful. C at 90%. No nade kills. There's the hero cap. Pushes out. Tries to get the kill. Now that's going to be a free cap for Insurgents. But also, in the meantime... Ackerman has B, so Ackerman caps B. Now, it's it's kind of unfortunate that Ackerman capped, but Cheeky was dead. So we don't really need three Insurgent players on C. Someone should move out. They're giving up a lot of uh, map control right now. But, yeah, we'll see what happens here. Um, if I can get this player right. Ackerman, there we go. Ackerman did hear him. Is he going to look behind him? He hears him going towards A. He might be able to get the kill. No, Cheeky does. Cheeky kills Chronic, and now... Pukak is going to get the kill onto Dirty, and it's going to be a 5v3. Look at all these players running into B right now. They're going to try and push this objective. And look at all these kills coming out for Ackerman. Ackerman getting so many kills from that top position. Oh, my goodness, just doing work. The end of the round there, 5-3. to three. Ackerman doing so well at the end of the round there, calling out that team, calling for his teammate that they're rushing A, and then Ackerman getting those two kills in connector. And then the final kill coming out by his teammate. So that was a great round by those players. So, oh my goodness, eyes. So great play by Ackerman. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Zip It. 
Yeah, we we will be playing pugs all night. Oh, look at that player. That player is invisible. Um, this player is completely invisible. Do you guys see this? Are we rolling this? Hello? Let's see if he's still invisible. Uh, interesting. This player is completely invisible. I hope he's not invisible on other people's screens. Because that would be very, very unfortunate. There we go. He's back in now. Okay, we're good. Sorry about that. I was just, like, freaking out for a second there that this player was going to be invisible. Um, but he's not, so we're okay. Ooh, look at him. He sees him jump across rubble. Did he see him? Yeah, he is. He's playing with that shotgun. B now being capped, but being so contested. Look at him pushing through. And Dolphin getting another kill. Was that a smoke or a nade? That was a nade. He pushes in. Let's see. On the B objective, Weenie's looking in, but he's actually going to get killed from behind. Insurgents have to do something here. They have to hold this off. He's going for a kill. He missed. Oh, he hits him once, hits him twice. There he gets, oh, gets the kill. I think he hit his legs there a little bit. So now what you see here is a 4v2, 5v2 actually, and this is going to be very tough for them to win. Snack Eater on the side of the map with the SVD getting a kill with the suppressor. So they've got to play very smart. Chronic actually got a kill as well, so it's actually a 3v2. If security wins this, then it's game over. Yeah, so there's going to be a block on Snack Eater. Snack Eater trying to stay alive here. Look at this. He's got three people coming to him. Very interesting. When, you scope, when they scope in, it actually, you know, they're going to knock that down. Chronic needs to help his team. Chronic needs to get in there. Oh, he misses. Oh, whiffing on this player. That could have been huge there. He's got a burst fire, that AKM. The recoil can be a little bit much for some people. 30 seconds remaining. 1v3. Oh, Chronic. Chronic gets taken down, and that's going to be the end of the round there, ladies and gentlemen. 6-3. Um, so I'll save that. That's going to be a GG. I'm going to actually.